In this lesson, we will look at the built-in way in React Native to collect a Boolean value that is true or false from a user. So let's go. Within an empty React Native application, we bring in the switch component, which is provided by the React Native module, and then we render it within our main view. With it in place, you can see what the component looks like in its off state on iOS versus Android. Now, in order to make this component's state available and controllable from within our JavaScript, we utilize the useState hook to create a new Boolean state called isChecked, which we initialize to false, and then a function called toggleIsChecked, which will toggle the value of isChecked. Before, if it was true, it would become false, and if it was false, it will become true. We wire the isChecked Boolean to the switch component's value prop, and then similarly, when the user interacts with the switch, we want the own value change to toggle the isChecked Boolean. And just as an added bonus, in order to help us debug it a bit better, we create a simple text that is going to be displayed on screen, which is going to show us the current value of the isChecked Boolean. With these changes in place, we can play around with the switch component, and you can see what the different states look like with checked true and false on iOS as well as on Android. And as you've probably already noticed, they do have their own distinct native flavors. Now, in terms of customization, we have very little control with this component, but let's take a look at the few props that are available. One thing that is very easy to customize with the switch component is the thumb color. You can see that the thumb right now on iOS is white, whereas on Android, it is a shade of dark green. Now, in order to customize the thumb color, we use the thumb color prop, and we can even put conditional logic over here. For example, we can show gold when it is checked and show black when it is unchecked. And as you can see, this prop works very reliably on iOS as well as on Android. Now, the other key visual part of the switch component is what is called the track. This is the green thing that you can see on iOS as well as on Android when it is in the checked state. We can customize this using the track color prop and providing an object that contains two members, the member true providing the checked color and the member false providing the unchecked color for the track. Here for the track, we've gone with the light shade of blue for true and a light shade of red for false. And you can see that the red shows up when we click on the Android to turn it into the false state and the blue shows up just fine as well. However, when we do the same thing on iOS, the red does not show up when the switch is toggled off. Now, quoting directly from the React Native documentation, the reason is that in the false state, the track disappears on iOS and what we are actually looking at right now is the background. So if we want the same visual color for false on iOS, we can do that quite easily by using a special prop called iOS underscore background color and providing it the same value that we provided for false in track color. And with this change in place, you can see that the colors look a bit more consistent on iOS as well as on Android as we toggle the switch on and off. One additional prop that is worth discussing with the switch component is the disabled prop. If we set this to true, either explicitly or as we are doing over here with the simple JSX shorthand, notice that we do get a slight indication about this on iOS with the slight opacity change, but nothing is indicated on Android. However, it does function on both the platforms, that is it disables the on value change, so the user cannot toggle a switch while it is in a disabled state. And of course, if we set disabled to false, then the user can interact with it and toggle the switch on and off just like you would expect. Join me in the next lesson in this series on React Native. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.